Hey everybody, Josh Jr. here. We are on another rock hounding adventure. So we're sitting here looking around to see what we can find. And Mrs. Josh Jr. is up the river for me. A, a kind of a beehive stopped her from coming down this direction. And I just wanted to show everybody what we're finding. And I was looking for something. Not here, something small right there. That's a small one. This is going to be hard to do one handed, but oh, there's another one. So there's this one here. <clears throat> Pick that up. So we are just here looking around to see what we can find. Nope, what's this here? That's not too bad. Where you at? Where you at? There we go, right there. So we are actually not doing too bad today. I mean, it could be better. It could be better. We're just having a good Mother's Day. And we are here on the Willamette River, which could be anywhere between Portland and Eugene. So there's your clue for a location. Oh, there's something right there. Two things. So there's that one there and there's that one there why would I pick this one here up So, like I said, it's not too bad. I've done better on this river in places, but this was an easy spot to get to, except for the beehive. Just not much more to be seen. Or collected lots to see. But not much on the collection side. There's something here. That oh, small one. Just not much more, and this is about the end of the line where we're at. Yep, 
Now, if you see something, be sure to yell. Let me know. Because I am half blind, you know. I've walked right over rocks. And Mr. Charles Jr. came up right behind me and says, Well, why didn't you pick this one up? That's why sometimes rock hounding is truly a team effort. Because the second person, you can usually find more than what the first person did. Now, what's this here? See, I walked over this once. There we go. What's this here? Is this anything worth keeping? I don't know. Well, we'll be right back with you. Well, we're back. And I see two interesting ones through this mud. And you can't really see it because of the mud now. Then there's one more. Nope, it's not very big. Okay. Well, we're off to grab a few more. Except for that. Now I'll pick it up. Okay, so we got another one here. And yet, that is not one. That's interesting. Nothing we can do with it. <clears throat> but there's nothing really magnificent out here. Earlier, before I started talking to all of you, I did find one piece of oh, half dollar size agate. And then I found this quartz-like material, pretty big chunk of it here, and then I found a nice piece of jasper earlier. But you know, this little spot is not doing very well. And I've been finding that out more and more along the Willamette River. As rock hounding has been growing in popularity, we've been finding fewer and fewer agates along this river because there's so many people hitting it. Which is fine, part of the hunt, but we're going to have to hope for a real nasty water shifting or ground shifting event around this river and stir things up. Eh, I don't know, I'll keep it. It may end up in the rock garden. Yeah, it's been a few years since this Willamette River has done anything like that. Yeah, it gets high, it gets swift during the wintertime and the spring runoff. But, you know, it just has not had anything to stir things up really good. And that's what this river needs for us rock counters.
so I'm gonna let you go for now although it'll just be a couple of seconds for you guys and we'll talk to you in a minute okay back to the end I've got to walk back and pick up two more pieces I was bending over and, and rocks were falling out of my pocket so I had to come and deposit them but right next to the bag is this red thing I don't know what it is I don't know another rock garden piece so let's walk back this way here Oh, huh, there's something. Ah, that is agate. Piece of sea maggot. Bullet weight. Or a fishing weight. That gets added to the collection. That goes in the other pocket. There's an agate. Here, just just small ones. Well, as you can tell, it looks like a different spot, because it is. And to Mrs. Jaws Jr. here, who will not be allowed to be seen on TV, but see, there's, there is, there's her shadow. There's her shadow. You saw the shadow of Mrs. Jaws Jr. But I have something better to show you. That we pulled up out of that spot right there. How's that? Come on, focus. That's an incredible find. That's one of my better finds I found on the Willamette River. So there we go. The Willamette River started slow, but it paid off with something pretty cool. So we're going to keep digging and looking. You never know what we're going to find here. Nope. Nothing. Oh, wow. I see something else, people. Right there, a nice carnelian agate right on the bank. Let's get this guy wet. Oh. I hope it's in focus. There you go, people. Two good finds, one right after another. Okay, I'm standing here, and a ways in front of me, I see something. There it is, right in the center of the screen.
Now you can see it, can't you? Look at that. That's a pretty one. Yep, Mrs. Jaws Jr. found a piece of down, down the sun. Beautiful piece of jasper. And then here is the agate I just found. So some pretty stuff. And there's a piece of quartz type stuff right down here too. Maybe Mrs. Jaws Jr. will see where the camera's pointed at and pick it up. Yep, let's see what that is. Is that anything worthwhile? Yay, nay. It's okay. It may go to the rock garden piece. Well, here is our Mother's Day haul out of the Willamette River. We didn't get too much, mainly because just we just weren't pushing ourselves too too much. But we got some stuff in there. Including the lead weight. So here's the find of the day right there. And with some of the other agates. And some of the stuff will probably end up in the rock garden, but that's okay. But I love that piece of jasper. That is just beautiful. So, give this video a like. Also, at the end of this video, you're going to see a link to our Hawaii series where Jaws Jr.'s adventures went to the island of Maui. Give those a, a look. Even if you don't ever plan on going there or not. And yes, it's on a different island than what's going on with the eruptions right now. But, we had a wonderful time on, there, on our Hawaii trip and wanting to be able to share it with, every, with everyone. So for now, we're going to let you guys go. Thanks for watching. I really appreciate each and every one of you for taking the time to watch this. Feel free to make a comment down below. So remember, everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine, still searching for pretty rocks. This is the Adventures of Jaws Jr. Have a good one, everybody. See ya!